I would like to begin today with a little experiment. Behind me are four seemingly random pictures. But what connects these pictures in your mind? For me, these pictures are each inspirational in their own way. I am moved and inspired by these very different things and their place in this world. Now, as an 18-year-old, it might seem that I have nothing to say about inspiration and not at all be qualified to discuss where it comes from. However, I also believe that 18 years is a perfect time for starting to put the puzzle pieces together in order to examine what I've already been through and reflect how that all connects to where I am today. I know, you're likely thinking that the only thing I've really been through is elementary school. Well, you're right and wrong at the same time. My story begins by being born into a relatively normal Czech middle-class family. After, after two and a half years of enjoying the spotlight of being the first child, my brother Philip came along. <laughs> my father is a self-made entrepreneur with these Czeske Ručičky, as we call them. My mother, on the other hand, after staying home for eight years to raise her two boys, decided to become an architect. Now, if you met my father on the street, you likely wouldn't connect him to his boys, based on the looks alone. He's got black curly hair, black eyes, and completely different facial features than I do. We're the complete opposites on the outside, but it's the inside mentalities that are the same. So, where's the link to inspiration, you might ask? Well, I believe that my family my parents and my brother were the first ones who inspired me in life. The diversity between each member of my family is what allowed me to spend my time doing so many different things. I've spent my time skiing during the winter with my father and later on snowboarding with my mother. In the summer, my father ta uh, taught me how to water ski and my mom showed me how to swim. While my father enjoyed listening to rock music, my mother enjoyed listening to pop, but we've never found ourselves arguing about which genre is better. You see, throughout my life, I've had a laundry list of things I wanted to be when I grow up, including a truck driver, a racer, an artist, a programmer, an architect, and now an industrial designer. So how does this diversity lead me to be inspired? The fact that we're all different, that we look different, that we like doing different things, and that we're all good at different things, has allowed me to take part in a great number of diverse activities, all of which have impacted who I am today. I've been also lucky in the fact that my parents have always supported me in whatever I was interested in at the time, and so I was left free to perceive the events and experiences the way I wanted, knowing that someone would always be there to make me feel comfortable. Like many active little boys, I never really enjoyed sitting down long enough to read a book, especially not when I had to in school. But then, when I was about 10 years old, I started attending here at OpenGate, where for the first time, I was allowed to read anything I wanted, as long as I've read something. <laughs> and because I was interested in computers and technology at that time, I've decided to read Steve Jobs' biography by Walter Isaacson. Now, picture it. I was 10. This book had like 700 pages, and nobody thought that I'd read it since I'd been known to have problems reading Honzi Kavacesta. <laughs> <laughs> but I was determined. And after about two weeks, I was completely finished. Come to think of it, it actually may be more pages than I've read since. So there I was. 10 and completely drawn into the inspirational story of someone else's life. Soon, I've started reading books about other people I admire, including Johnny Ive, Elon Musk, and many others. Each and every one of their stories or mindsets has inspired me, and I find I'll always learn something new from each of them. 
one of my favorite things to do while learning about their stories is to imagine myself in their shoes and imagine what it might be like to do what they're doing. Another outlet that has formed my current feelings on the topic of inspiration is the fortunate opportunity I've had to travel a lot. While on these travels, I've started noticing the world around me and documenting it. At first, I've only had my mobile phone to take pictures with, which in today's world is more than enough to capture some really great shots. As a budding photographer, I've started playing around with symmetry, light, point of view, always trying to capture the moment from an interesting perspective. I also think that most photographers would agree that after some time, you begin to see things that aren't obvious at the first glance, and you develop sense for detail. Moreover, the fact that you can look back at, at what you have created lets you not only be inspired by looking back, back at what you've done, but also improve and reflect upon the mistakes you've made that help you improve. So fast forward to today. A kid who was first inspired by his parents, who morphed into a biography-loving kid, who loved to take pictures. And here is my problem. Well, <laughs> problems. My main source of inspiration are the problems I encounter in the world. And no, I, I'm not a pessimist, quite the opposite. Let me explain. Every time I get frustrated by something that doesn't work in a logical way, or when things are not intuitive enough, requiring lengthy and complicated manuals, well, that's when I feel inspired to do something about it. I don't want to settle for good enough. I want improvement. And it is this very desire that has me work to create and improve, that has me working towards a future career of an industrial designer. In the end, I believe that trying new things is essential for finding inspiration. Whether the sources of your inspiration are your family, your friends, your school, your dog, or the world around you. Pieces of inspiration are lying all around you. In searching for inspiration, we develop a good sense for what we do and don't like, which is essential in today's world of information input overload. It is only when we find those unique pieces to what makes us inspired that we can see how we fit into the larger world conversation. And that is where your path to inspiring others can begin.